man, it's been a minute. I'm on the road, though. I'm about to go gas up. We're going to get a new project. I got about a four, just say three hour and 55 minute trip ahead of me, so we're gonna get some gas real fast. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. Y'all already know how we do us that season. So headed back with the project in the back. Uh, got a four hour trip back. I came four hours to get it. Four hours back. Once I get it off the trailer, get a little light because it's going to be dark. I'm going to show y'all what it is. And I'll tell y'all what we're going to be doing to it and what we ain't going to be doing. Trying to get this radio installed. That's this shit right there. This is Zuki Boulevard. She was using a number four. Uh, try three and a half. Or yeah, I think that's what I use. I ain't for sure. Had to clean all this up. Gonna put that on. The other one back there, but it was scuffed up, so we'll just put a brand new one on there. You know, we should already did. Well, I should already did it. I'm gonna go ahead and. Remove the seat, so we're gonna hurt this battery before we get to cutting any wires. So there we go, voila! In my uncle's garage. Disconnected, he putting in some Allens that I had him take off that we didn't have to take off. <laughs> I gotta wire these speakers up again, because whoever wired them, Either ran them short or yeah, this, they ran too short. So if you open up the box, they're gonna disconnect. I don't know what that was about. I wanna if I don't buy new bags, I'm definitely buying bag liners for these bags. Well, I'm thinking about stretching, but maybe, maybe not. We're gonna rerun them. We got the kicker six by nines in there. All right. So we got the other head unit in there. Well, he got it in there. So it's all Bluetooth or MP3 receiver. Don't got a CD player in there and it's detachable. But uh, you can get you can get a head unit like this cheap at Walmart for like $56. I went to uh, Best Buy and got my head cracked. But it's all good. Battery all back hooked up. Let's give it a twirl. Lights up. <laughs> So we got the little Bluetooth. I got I think I gotta download an app to connect to it. Let me see. Read all that shit, agree. So now I'm putting the brand new fairing on. Got all my lights and stuff. We got everything buttoned up under there, zip tied and taped off and everything so we made that nice and neat that mess so now we're gonna get this in i got the speakers all hooked up this mug need wiped off but yeah y'all see the apes on there though uh we're about to do a, a, a box opening whatever the hell it's called <laughs> on this king spoke ultima for the harley street glide I'm telling you you know what i mean we got the build popping off let's check this spoke out and this is it still in the plastic so I'm gonna have to take it off the plastic here in a second and let y'all get a good look at this let's see what this is right here warning inspect bearings properly and play lubricate okay should be set to that blah 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 all right that's not for me chrome nipples just like I wanted it all black black spokes that's going to look good on that white wall, man. It's coming together. So for 08 Street Glide or Harley Touring Bagger and up. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I got it in one day. I called them yesterday because they hadn't sent me my damn uh, tracking number, which I ordered this from. It's in Ohio, a company right out of Dayton, KC International motor supply so shout out to them shout out to kc international motor supply for getting this out to me expeditiously on that white wall man it's coming together so 
But yeah, that's gonna look good on the glide, man. I'm gonna put that white wall on that joint. Shit. So how about your boy? I'm mighty the ruler. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe, man. It's going down. It's the Harley build. I can see it spinning now. I can see it spinning now, bruh. Ah. Unboxing. Another piece for the Harley. So I'm going to open this up. And then I'm going to install it real quick. Let y'all see what this is. This is it. You come with the ain't bad either. Good quality. I only paid about $9 for it. Came with its own screws. So we're going to put this on. I'm going to take these screws out of here. And that's going to run across the front of the fairing. And when I get this thing all cleaned up and stuff. Cause this is, I'm going to do a full series. I ain't going to give y'all one part at a time. I'm going to just release it all at once. But y'all be able to see what everything looks like when it's cleaned up and buttoned up. But let's get that on here now. I got the bolts out. I'm going to put the new joints in there. Look bad. I got. I'm gonna go ahead and get it tightened down. I just got them. I just worked them in there with my fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down. But I don't look bad at all. Be less than five minutes to install this. I like it. Once we clean this baby up, now this is gonna definitely go with the spoke rim that I'm putting on here. That's gonna look real good, man. That's gonna look real good. Project Harley. I got some more parts as you can see. Mm -hmm. Not you. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a box opening or unboxing i can't get that word right but i'm about to open this damn box i'm gonna see what's in here these is my bags that i bought i got the five inch instead of the four or the four and a half so i'm gonna check this out and this is i need to put these actually on the bike and decide if i want to get the extended fender rear fender so let's open it up real quick i feel like it was packaged up pretty cool they sent me three keys. I see three keys. Got a little foam on them. Let's see what these things look like now. All right, all right. Give me a second. Let me pull one out. Pretty good. And even without even taking it and unwrapping it, it look like it's pretty good quality. Let's take the plastic off. Oh wow. Yeah, this is painted pretty good. This is the vivid black. I got the black open latches or whatever because on my other bags one of the latches is scratched but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this lid off this will be a spare lid I'm going to keep them just in case but I'm going to take this lid off and y'all know I got, the, I got the lids with the speakers already in them but from right now they look pretty decent so give me a second I got Chase behind me Hi. dancing everywhere okay Give me a second and let me go ahead and take all this plastic off. And we're going to look at how good this paint is. I'm, I'm going to put it in front of my uh, LED lights over here and see what type of shine it got. Look pretty sweet on the inside, man. Look pretty good on the inside. It ain't bad quality at all. Like I said, I'm going to take these ones, these lids off, and put my lids on here with the speakers in them. But, yeah, good quality. I ain't complaining at all. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up before I tear it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up before I tear it up. But yeah, good shit. Uh, I ordered these off of eBay. I think they ran me like 200 some dollars. I mean, shit. I ain't complaining. We'll be installing these soon. The bike is still dirty. I haven't wiped it off, but I got the bags on it. But I think they look pretty good. Put this across the front. That's a new Batwing fair in the outer. I ain't wiped that off yet, but yeah, the snow on the ground. But my lids, these is off the old bags with the six by nines in them because I wanted the new latches. Looking pretty good though. When it came with it, huh? Well, the person who, whose ever it was, they must still got it. That's why you're gonna, you're gonna get another fiber. We're gonna change it for you. What's good? You know what I mean? I pulled out the uh, Mustang and shit. <laughs> About to go down here and check out the Harley, though. I got it back. The fender won't be here until tomorrow, so or Monday. 
So I'm going to go down here right now and I'm gonna pull it out real quick so I can look at everything that we done to it. And do another like little video to it. I'm going to give y'all the full build in a couple days. So this is a little sneak peek at where it's at right now. But y'all get the entire build in a couple days. I was supposed to drop it Tuesday. But of course the place that I took it to didn't have the fender done painted. So I just told them give me my damn bike. And I took my bike home and I just ordered me a pre-painted fender and I rocked that this summer until it's time for me to get the entire bike painted but yeah so we're gonna go down here real quick and check it out I enjoy driving this car though I'm not gonna lie all right fuck it it's one of them days still ain't got my fender on this bitch yet on the front but it'll be here Monday and I'll be throwing that bitch on but looking good though yeah, still looking good off this bitch. Alright, so first and foremost, let's just get a look at it. Back up off of it. Got the white wall on the back. All right, so what I did was, of course, I put a 21 inch king spoke rim. I replaced the rotors on both sides. ABS, this is the ABS rim. Place both rotors, the white walls on it. This is a 23 inch wrap around, uh, not the 21, this is a 23 inch wrap around for the 21 inch rim. So I have plenty of clearance. Put a new front fairing on it, outer fairing. I, I put this on here. I threw these on here just for inspection. Still got these. Came with the apes already on it. Put that lever in there. And came with speakers in the bags already. I swapped out the lids and the uh, actual, the, um, the latches. Put them on these bags. Those are five and a half. No, those are five inch. That's a five inch drop fender. Five inch fender. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now this is my first Harley. I done had a few cruisers before. It need clean too. I done had a few few cruisers before, but never a Harley. I think it look good. Definitely, definitely gonna have fun riding this this summer. I'm thinking about putting a tour pack on the back, the Razor tour pack. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not, but pretty cool ride, man. So I'll be coming back with y'all with more videos. I did 90. I'm gonna say I did 85% of the work at home with me and my uncle. And the only thing I took it to the shop for is get the tires put on and the front rows. Oh, I changed brakes too. I put different pads on the bike so it won't scratch those rotors up. That's one of the things I did. That's another thing I did do with this. And she start right up. No issues. get a comment session let me know if y'all want to see more harley builds feel me we'll get it going get it popping peace